morning. Today I wanted to do a little project update with you guys to show you the progress of our basement in Harriman. It's all ready for insulation today and I wanted to show you the framing, electrical, HVAC, some load bearing walls that we removed and replaced with a steel beam and also another load bearing wall removed and replaced with a wood wall. So I wanted to show you guys around and show you the progress here. So let's take a look. Okay, so starting off in this area, this is the area that was previously finished. We're going to be installing a kitchen here and full kitchen, uh, 11 by 12, dishwasher, fridge, stove, microwave above the stove, and then an island. We've got some quartz countertops coming, coming for this and uh, some pendant lighting above the island that's gonna come down here. The island's all dubbed out here with the conduit and the electrical line here we cut out a strip of concrete and put this conduit in and wire and poured that back so that's ready here we're going to be cutting out that window replacing it with a door and a side light for access to the basement apartment area so they'll have this entry door a kitchen the island and then moving this way, they're gonna have a nice living room area here. Now we framed up some backing for a TV option there. If they want to mount a TV there, they'll have plenty of support. We also put in an electrical box over here if they want to put a TV on that wall. So we have some options later for whatever they want to do. So now here we framed up this wall. And one thing I wanted to show you on this was it's a a party wall and so basically separates the owners from the tenants here we have a five and a half inch two by six and then we framed it with two by fours alternating from side to side so we've got one on this side and then this is going to be filled with insulation so any sound that comes from this side of the wall could come through this two by four and then it would stop here at the sound insulation that we're going to install today same with on this side any sound that comes this way would have insulation on that side so those studs are alternating back and forth all the way down to really help with um, privacy and keeping that sound on that side of the, each side of the wall where it, where it should be so that is this room the kitchen and living room area and what we've got going on here so added plenty of mechanical relocated HVAC um, duct work, condensers outside are getting moved, and so we've cut plenty of holes in the ceiling, and those are going to get patched as well. So moving on into here, this is where the owner's upstairs, the staircase is right here. So, so they have this space, and this will be the owner's upstairs portion of the basement. So moving into here, we're going to put some cabinets on this wall. We've got a mechanical room over here, water heater, so water softener, couple furnaces, electrical panel, and whatnot. So that's pretty much gonna stay unfinished. We're gonna put a little bit of drywall in there, but pretty much unfinished otherwise. So in here, this is just a really open concept basement. So there were a couple load bearing walls here that I'll point out to you in a second that we were that it was really important to these owners that those were moved to create a large living area down here. And so one of the load bearing walls came from this corner this way, clear across the room this way. You can kind of see a little bit of residue on the floor from the glue that was gluing down the base plate there. And the other wall was started here and went back. To the to the end of the room there so it was, this is a lot smaller room and basically we, we removed those two walls by doing some engineering um pretty time consuming to get the engineering done and calculated what was going to need to happen here but essentially with the load of this wall here we had to put in a steel beam so that's our steel column three inch by three inch and then it goes up and connects up here to a another steel beam 
bolted connection here and that is the bolted connection because the beam is so long we can't fit it up into this hole without splicing it in the middle. We've got this HVAC equipment, ductwork, returns, and then coming over on this side is where the beam terminates and we have another column coming down to the floor. So these are all grouted in place under here. Structural non-shrink grout to hold that bolted down epoxied in place. And then the bolted connection up here is where we um, connected those two. And that is a little fun little detail that we got engineered and put together. So that wall is now safely removed and that beam is now taking the weight of the house so that this room can be nice and open. So there we have a 16 foot beam. And then on this wall here, this is the other one that we moved. The engineer told us based on his calculations that we could actually move the wall from here over four feet and these TGIs would be able to hold the weight if the wall was moved from here over four feet. So pretty nice that we, we didn't have to put in another beam because I mean, even though we could have, that's where the other, other, the old wall was here. So I guess there was space to do it, but that's 22 feet long. And yeah, it gets difficult to get really long beams in basements. So it maybe have to be another bolted connection. I don't know, but luckily we, we were just able to move that over four feet and that worked out. So the other thing on this is that we had to cut out the floor because it's just a, a standard four inch slab. I had to cut that out, jackhammer it, haul out the the concrete rubbish and then dig down excavate and then I have another foot so that we could put in a thickened footing there with rebar and then pour that that back shut or closed off so we have a structural footing foundation there and then the the wall moving up so that is how we move those two walls out of here and then continuing on a little bit here, we'll take a peek into this room. This is a room that unfortunately can't be a, a bedroom just based on the location of it. The This wall over here borders the garage and this wall over here borders the porch. So you can't really put a window in here, which is required to, to consider this space a bedroom. So they're just going to make this a storage room for their, you know, uh, an extension of their cold storage under the porch. And how we're going to do that is we're going to insulate the ceiling and then the, the walls. This wall is going to be really well insulated as well as this one to, to keep it cool in here. And we've also left off any of the HVAC supply heat runs so that room will stay a lot cooler in there then here we have the bathroom it's a five foot wide bathroom fiberglass tub with a swoop on the side of it so it comes out this way and then here we have our toilet drain and supply line our sink here we're gonna have a 60 inch vanity and mirrors on the wall here we put in a extra large exhaust fan because this is the front wall of the home and we didn't want to vent out and have a vent poking out on the front of the house because that this doesn't look good so we vented it to the back of the house which is a lot farther away and because it's so far and there's so many 90s 90 degree turns we had to put a six inch pipe and then upgrade this to a, a lot larger unit so that had the power to push that air that distance through those turns so that should be doing very well and then we also have a heater that's coming in here a, a electric heater just for when you need to heat up the bathroom a little bit warmer so that's the bathroom now in here this is a bedroom here standard bedroom we have 
a window, window well, and then a closet. This closet's gonna have like five shelves on all three walls, two feet deep. So there's gonna be quite a bit of storage space in here, which is also what these owners were really looking to do with this basement is create as much storage space as possible. So other than that, it's pretty much a standard basement. And this insulation, we're gonna fix that today too. So we should be good, super well insulated. But anyway, then here we are back to the, the main living room. Here we have the third mechanical unit to, to do the heating and cooling. That one's running the whole basement. And these two over here are running the upstairs. So we have them zoned separately. So you can have a one temperature for the basement, one temperature for the upstairs, separate thermostats and whatnot. So that is pretty much our little tour of the basement here and the progress that we have. So hope you guys enjoyed. If you want to learn more about basement finishes and, and how we do that, our process and how we take a basement pretty much from concrete floor and walls to completely finished and feeling like it's not a basement, like it's part of your upstairs. Um, you can look at our website, danzydesignbuild.com and check us out. So we'd love to hear from you. Thanks. Have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day.